Honorable Prime Minister, we are very honored to be given by Your Excellency despite your very busy schedule. First of all, please allow me to convey the best wishes and cordial greetings from His Excellency President Xi Jinping and primarily Ke Qiang. Honorable Prime Minister, you are an old friend of China and Chinese people. You have paid many visits to China and made important contribution to deepening our friendship and bilateral relations. We highly appreciate it. Prime Minister, we know you are well respected in Sri Lanka and you have won the wholehearted support of Sri Lanka people. Under the leadership of uh, President Gotabaya and also Prime Minister yourself, Sri Lanka have maintained political stability, social harmony, and enjoy steady economic growth. And the Sri Lanka people are leading a better and happy life. Although this is my first visit here, I noticed that Sri Lanka enjoy economic and social development and you have a promising and vibrant future. I would like to express my congratulations on the national economic and social development of Sri Lanka and show my respect to you. My visit is a very important one. It was approved by President Xi Jinping himself, and it bears great significance to our two countries against the backdrop of the pandemic. The purpose of my visit is to implement the important consensus reached between our two heads of state to strengthen strategic mutual trust, to deepen cooperation, and consolidate friendship. And I believe my visit will promote a very uh, will promote the development of our bilateral relations and our mill to mill relations. Honorable Prime Minister, just now you have spoken very highly of our bilateral relations and our mill to mill relations. And you also proposed several suggestions to further this cooperation. The Chinese side also attaches great importance to the friendly cooperation with Sri Lanka. China and Sri Lanka are strategic cooperative partner of mutual assistance and everlasting friendship, and our friendly engagement can be dated back to almost 2,000 years ago, recorded in history. In 
In 2014, His Excellency President Xi Jinping visited Sri Lanka and have reached a lot of important consensus together with Your Excellency. Before long, our two heads of state also had a telephone conversation which charted the course for the future development of our cooperation. At present, China and Sri Lanka are working hard to promote high-quality cooperation within the framework of the Belt and Road Initiative. There is a great cooperation potential and a brighter future for our cooperation. We thank Sri Lanka for standing up and speaking for China on issues related to Taiwan, Tibet, Xinjiang, and Hong Kong. As a good partner and friend, China will also offer continuous support to Sri Lanka on human rights and national reconciliation. Our two militaries have carried out fruitful cooperation in different fields. In this morning, I had a very candid and friendly discussion with His Excellency Mr. President and the Defense Secretary. And we have informed uh, that uh, the Chinese side would provide another 50 million RMB military assistance gratis to the Sri Lanka side. We have also witnessed the signing of military protocol to the total amount of 102 million RMB military aid in the year 2017 and 2019. And we had an in-depth exchange of ideas to further our military cooperation in this morning. We are ready to work together with Sri Lanka to deepen our military cooperation, to carry forward friendship, and to bring our mutual relation to a higher level. <laughs>